Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This week, iOS 15 was just released, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to go from iOS 15 back to iOS 14. So, let's go ahead and just jump into things. But before we do, I'd like to give a huge shout out to our friends over at Surfshark. Now, if you've yet to hear me talk about Surfshark, they have an awesome VPN service and an awesome deal going on right now. You can use the promo code ICU at checkout to get Surfshark 83% off and three months entirely free. Now a VPN is great to have whether you're traveling or anywhere on a public Wi-Fi network that you're sharing with other computers. You can keep all of your data and internet traffic private. Also, you can access Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, and content libraries all over the world, even when you're at home. And that's typically how I use it. Now, my favorite part about Surfshark is you only need one subscription for an unlimited amount of devices. I have all my Xboxes, Fire TVs, iPhones, and all my computers running Surfshark at the exact same time under one subscription plan. Anyway, guys, if you're looking for a VPN and you're interested in this deal, definitely check the first link down below in this video's description. Use the promo code ICU at checkout to get 83% off and three months free. Now, without further ado, let's get back to downgrading. The first thing we're going to do is on the phone itself, go into the settings app. We're gonna tap on our Apple ID, tap on Find My, and make sure Find My iPhone has been disabled. All right, with that out of the way, next we are going to plug our iPhone into our computer. Yes, you will need a computer for this downgrade process. Either Mac or Windows though, both work. Once you plug it in, if it's the first time, you're going to trust the connection both on the iPhone itself and on your computer, you go to your iPhone tab, either in Finder on a Mac or uh, iTunes on Windows and tap Trust. Now, while we're on this tab, the first thing we're going to do is create a local backup to your computer itself. We're not going to create an iCloud backup. So once everything loads, we're going to select the second option right here to back up our data to our Mac or PC and click backup now. And while that's going on, we can go to Safari or Chrome, go to ipsw.me. Again, it's the first link down below in this video's description. We have an article with all of the links you need. So once we're on ipsw.me, we're going to select iPhone. You're going to select the version of the iPhone that you have this being an iPhone 12 Pro Max. And you'll just select an iOS version that is highlighted in green. As of recording this video, iOS 14.7.1 is current. We'll click on that and click download. So once the iPhone software is finished downloading and once your iPhone is finished backing up, we're ready to move on to the next step. Now we're essentially going to erase the iPhone and restore it back to iOS 14. Then we are going to restore our user data. Let's get started. So to restore the iPhone, you're going to hold Option on a Mac or Shift on Windows and tap on Restore iPhone. This will pull up this dialog box. We can navigate to our desktop and select iOS 14.7.1 and then click restore. So now your iPhone is being restored from iOS 15 back to stock iOS 14. And in just a second, we are going to modify our iOS 15 data backup so that it can be installed on iOS 14. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And there we have it. Our iPhone has been restored to factory settings. But just leave it plugged in as we still need to do uh, the data restored now. Now it's back on iOS 14, we just need to get the user data back on it. All right, so once it comes up in iTunes, we can go ahead and select Setup as New Device for now. Now we can tap on Manage Backups, and we're going to right click on this backup that we just created and click Show in Finder. Now I'll have Windows steps down below in this video's description, but we're going to go into this folder and open up info plist just with a text editor. That will be fine for this job. 
let's go text edit and you can type Apple F just to search for product and we're looking for product version. So right here it says iOS 15. We can just change that five to a four and then save. So command S and exit out of this now. Basically that lets us install this iPhone backup on any device running iOS 14 or newer. So when you first connect your device, again, you're going to want to go into iTunes and trust the connection if you haven't already. If your iPhone shows up right here and you followed along so far doing a backup to your personal local computer, you should be good at this point in time. So exiting out of iTunes, we're just gonna click Windows R on the home screen. We're gonna type this into the run command. It's percent app data percent, click OK. We're gonna to navigate to Apple Computer, Mobile Sync, and Backup. Now this is the latest backup that we just did. Within that, again, we're gonna to go to the info file and open that up just within Notepad. Again, we're gonna scroll down right here. You can either search for this, I just happen to see it. But product version, we're going to change 15.0 to 14.0, and then go ahead and save that file. So now on Windows, you can go back into iTunes and get ready for the restore. So with that change in place, I had to disconnect and reconnect my iPhone for this to pop up, uh, but you can click Restore Backup. We're going to restore Tony's iPhone and click Restore. And now it says Restore in Progress on the iPhone. So all of our user data is now coming back to our phone that's running iOS 14. And once the data restore is fully complete, you're back on iOS 14 with all of your user data from iOS 15. So that pretty much concludes this video, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll catch you real soon in the next video. But until then, this is Tony signing out.